Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Episode 6, Departure. New York City, two years ago. I know you can read, but... about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. Or max in pain. In my finer moments of self-deception, oh, wow. I swore to quit drinking. Ow. Yeah, that's a, that's a hell of a hangover. I was actually going for the door next, but then, okay. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open oh, it's locked. like a vampire in the sun. I've never um, had trouble with the light and hangovers, you know. Well, I've had hangovers. I wasn't that's for sure. sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. <laughs> Come on, um, but not so much that it hurt my eyes, really. And again, whenever I'm drunk, I sleep till like noon, like 3 p.m. Not drunk. Yeah, well, it's drunk. Fast. Hangover. Never mind. The of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. I wasn't gonna read it or listen to it. I was gonna look at this appointment like I hadn't been in it for five episodes. Okay, fine. I guess we can listen to it. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, then she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. All right, I'll watch the show. Is this Night Springs? The final Night Springs. Or not. It's high death. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author Alan Wake about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy, but this one I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. La, 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 la. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. Stop clapping every time. Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Please, Stop sir. clapping, dude! Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. 
Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, Go on. I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. What? And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. Poets of the Fall. Mm. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Turn it off. Oh, well. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Don't tell me what to do. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Big mistake, dude. <clears throat> we all know that, right? So that was two years ago. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Somehow, Present day. The clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Maybe just go like click and the cabin comes back. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. <laughs> Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Why? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Oh, Barry. <laughs> Big buddy. <laughs> Good luck, Al. All right. <laughs> See you later. I promise. <laughs> Wait, I'm Alan, wait. Why do you go alone? You could use the help. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Why don't you try and click it again and see if it turns dark? That would be a neat trick. <clears throat> Screw Dumbledore and his turn on the street light trick. Right? You know? Okay. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. And coffee. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up Product something placement. like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Win, 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 win. They can still boost the lights. That's weird. Can this car not go any faster? This is the end, guys. The last episode. Well, the last episode in game terms. Okay, what's in here? It's just... Whoa! God! Oh, God. Well, I don't have a driver's license. Boom! There's nothing here. Logging area ahead. Huh. No, it doesn't look like there's anything there. Let's just keep moving a bit. I'll get out if there's something obvious. Look at that. A little house. Maybe we should look at the house. Ooh. 
Oh, it's blocked. Of course it's blocked. Maybe we can get around this way. Whoop. This car handles really dramatically. Um, doesn't look like it. And we can't get into that house, it seems. There's a thermos there. Yoink. Or barn. Nope. It's nothing. I'm going to try and ram it then. That seems like a really good idea. Run, 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 run. Nope. Another car is stuck. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try something different then. Up here? Oh god! The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. I think I just drove myself into stupidity here. Yeah, probably. Uh, this is probably bad. Yep. It's pretty damn stuck here. Oh, Keith, why do you do this? Okay, well, maybe we can... Nope. <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Yeah, it's completely stuck. I can't do anything here. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. Okay, let's just see outside here. There's this... No, it's just a tunnel there. Hmm. It is this way. I'm just... I just blocked my way out of it. Okay. Restart checkpoint. <clears throat> It touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Okay, so I could have jumped that. That's fine. Can we take this car? Perhaps. Nope. Is there anything in here? Nope. Guess we run then. What's that, a bird? <laughs> and suddenly it's dark. Yoink. You should probably use that clicker again, Alan. Oh, God. And kill. Ha! In your face. There's more manuscript pages. Of course. Bird. Not a whole lot of um, pages here. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. So we got a lot of big fights on our hand, I think. Car? Yes. So we found the Lady of the Light. And we got the Witch's Cabin Key. Who leaves their car out like this? I mean, really. This car is is leaning. It felt like it was at least. <laughs> so what's that? Is that Stucky's gas station? I think it is. No, Majestic Hotel. Huh, well, supplies. I see a ramp and I have a car. You know what's coming. But first we check in here.
Knock, knock. Wow. Somebody trashed this place. I think this might be uh, Nightingale's room. <clears throat> Locked, of course. Yeah, that's the FBI. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale Jacket. had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. I am an excellent shot. Look at that. What did you want to? Oh. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Yeah. I got that already. But thanks for that. Okay, so door is not locked at least. Read? What should I read? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's take out the other rooms. That's locked. Uh, there's no room there. <clears throat> oh. The hell was that? Ah, of course. Of course. Let's try the ramp. Well, that car ain't gonna go anywhere. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Bam! Oh, I just wasted a shotgun shell on that thing. Can we try the boat? Oh, well. Run, 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 run! This is probably stupid. No, it works. <laughs> I was thinking about going up there just to check, but uh... oh god! Kill it with a car! Where did they go? Don't trash my car, man! Oh! Oh! Car won't really handle much more of that, I think. More dudes. Guess we should try and kill those as well. Splat! Splat! I want to kill that thing. Oh! Okay, now we're in trouble. Ow! Ooh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit! <sighs> that was stupid. Yeah, I know. Dude, don't sneak up on people like that. You might get killed someday. Okay, great. So, is there no other car? That one? That's probably not going to go anywhere. We'll go on foot. That's fine. Sure. <laughs> 